Hello fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you what grain line looks like on your sewing patterns. I'm Colleen G Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Sewing patterns, as I'm sure you're all aware, are of many different shapes and sizes and there are grain lines on every single pattern piece that you have. Those grain lines tell you where to place them onto your fabric to make sure that you have the correct fitting and hang of a garment. I'm going to show you now the three different types of grain lines that you'll find on your sewing patterns. My fabric is folded in half lengthwise. You have the selvage to selvage and that's the tightly woven edge there. And then you have the fold of the fabric on the opposite side. This is a sewing pattern which has a fold symbol arrow with the heads pointing down towards this black line here, telling you you need to place it on the fold of your fabric. So I'll just twirl that round and now placing it onto the fold of fabric. And then that will just be pinned into position. Here we have the sewing pattern with a straight grain and it's indicated by two arrowheads, one at each end of the line. And to make sure that is following the straight grain of your fabric, position it as you think is the straight of grain, but check to make sure against your selvage. So from this point here, arrowhead, measure down to your selvage. And then make sure the measurement that is on that cell is going to be exactly the same on that side. And it is. And now you can pin it into place because you now know that you're going to get this pattern piece on the straight grain of your fabric. On this sewing pattern piece, um, it's a little bit difficult to decide whether you've got a straight grain or a bias grain. It is actually a bias grain and how you actually find that it's going to be on the bias grain is making sure this, <laughs> this straight of grain line here is placed on the straight of grain of your fabric but the pattern piece itself will be cut on the bias of the fabric it's actually a collar so you do need that stretch so and then again you do the same again making sure that it is the same measurement from each side of the arrow along your selvage that is how you check to make sure your pattern pieces are correctly on the grain I do hope you found this video informative. Can I just remind you before I go that it's so important that you put your um, your sewing pattern pieces on the correct grain lines. Remember there are three. There's a straight of grain, there's a bias grain, and then there's the grain that you put onto the fold. That way you will get the most beautiful, well you're halfway there to getting a most beautiful hanging garment. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.